Let's go now to The Hague and speak to Ben Wagner. He's a professor of media, technology and society at In Holland University of Applied Sciences. Ben, thanks for coming on to the program. When I think of this uh, name you. change by Facebook, the Shakespearean quote, what's in a name really comes to mind? Yeah, I mean, whether it's Meta or Facebook, what's really changed? Not much, it seems like. And if anything, what we're seeing here is a theater show or a gimmick dressed up as reality. Facebook can't be bad, they claim, because all they're doing is reflecting and mirroring the existing problems in society. And if anything, this process shows they've had a still very uncomfortable relationship with reality and that they'd rather flee to some dystopian idea of the future rather than to deal with the many very real and very problematic challenges in the present. So the idea of them being a mirror is that it, the ideas behind it is that they don't choose. Facebook doesn't make choices. But if bad things happen, then the people who make those bad things happen are responsible. But Facebook chooses every day when they choose to amplify angry content over happy content. And then when they choose to flee to this imaginary world, it becomes quite clear that they're trying to flee from something quite more ugly that they've created in reality, for something that's a bit more hypothetical. So do you think this is still a situation with Facebook or Meta, as it's now known, where they are prioritizing profits over people? Most definitely. And I would expect that it will continue to be heavy regulatory pressure in the coming years. I would expect that investors will continue to ask themselves whether this is a company they want to invest in. And at its core, they're an advertising company, an advertising company that needs to have a minimum level of reputation in order to be able to do their job. At the same time, they're an advertising country, company that makes money from spying on its users and dragging those same users down algorithmic rabbit holes that they struggle to get out of. So the metaverse, if you will, or meta or whatever they want to call themselves, is the next logical step in that process, trying to drag in the virtual human body into Facebook while dodging responsibility for anything that human body does once it's inside of meta, Facebook, or wherever it wants to call itself. And what's interesting about that process is that there's a whole industry out there that are very good at developing far more compelling whether it's games or immersive experience. Facebook doesn't want to be a game. It doesn't want to be playful. It doesn't want to claim that it's not creating a reality. Rather, they, instead of engaging with things playfully, they want to claim quite specifically, this is real, this is our business model, and your real life transitions into Facebook, rather than acknowledging this is something more playful and we need to engineer it in a way that it doesn't get dangerous. Well, Facebook has also been uh, trying to attract more users and younger users. Is there a sense that with this new virtual reality that they are going to attract those younger users that they want? I think based on the things that we've seen so far from both the technology they have, but also from the aspirations they have, I struggle to imagine a world in which young users would be attracted by that or that they would feel that attractive or comfortable or that regulators would accept Facebook dragging based on their prior ability to do harm to numerous groups in society, they would be accepting the idea that Facebook would now drag all of the young users in the world into a new digital virtual environment. If anything, I would be highly concerned about the fact that if they're targeting young users based on their track record, that doesn't pose well for those users and that doesn't pose well for the company. It's a business strategy that will not only be quite challenging and quite difficult to pull through, it's one that will cause even greater harm than what Facebook have already created. Seems like a rebrand gone wrong then for Facebook. Ben Wagner, appreciate your insight. Thank you so much.